hey everyone thank you for tuning into another video today i'm gonna be giving you guys 10 random facts about me i just thought i'd give you a little more insight into who is this girl what does she do where has she been stay tuned for all the details So the first random fact is I was scouted in a mall guys. I was supposed to be on generations. I was going to be Christina. Don't be as pussy so sad. <laughs> guys, I was supposed to be a child star. Okay. Let me tell you what happened. So I was scouted. I even remember I was at Northgate Mall. I was walking with my mom. The guy comes says what he needs to say he gives my mom the card he's like call me and i am so excited because anyone who knows generation was popping back in the days before those generations the legacy and whatever 8 p.m was 8 p.m so i was like yes i'm going to be Ndombi and spicy sauce child christina does my mom not lose the card oh i was so so hacked but you know what it's okay everything happens the way it should everything happens for a reason so yeah but i'm grateful for my life i still have a great life so thank you god the second fact is that i actually broke my right arm in grade four the way i broke it was even so stupid so i was on the netball court tying my shoelaces i think it was like in the middle of the game and then i tried to get up with my arm and i don't know what happened it just twisted and i fell and i just heard a it was either a or a ka. hey that was the most excruciating pain i've ever felt in my life that's when I learned the word excruciating in grade four. It was not cute. Um, the teachers had to help me. They had to call my mom. I was in the hospital, got the cast, everything. That was the first time I actually went to theater. It was very, very scary. Dozing off like that with the anesthesia, just going into the blackness of whatever. And yeah, no, but I made it, I survived, and I'm grateful. The third fact is that I used to be a cheerleader back in high school. I mean, it wasn't like the cheerleading in the States, but you know, we tried, we had cute uniforms and everything. I'll try to put up a picture if I can find it. Oh, guys, I could do the split, I was quite flexible. I mean, you know, we did cute dance routines, but it didn't really take off the way we wanted to also we didn't receive a lot of support from the school which sucked but it's okay we move <laughs> we move the fourth fact is that i've lived in 10 different places in my life yeah i've moved around and i think a lot of that has to do with me not being in school here in Gauteng for my high schooling and my varsity so for high school i was in valcom and varsity i was in pochestrom and then i came back because i did my one year outfits so yeah it's been hectic i've moved around no guys don't worry about me i'm gonna be fine <laughs> but um yeah trying to find that sense of stability and staying in one place it's a bit hard sometimes so i just need to learn to live with that because i'm so used to moving around being busy traveling from one province to the next so yeah it's a lot fact number five i've not always had natural hair i know right like how beautiful is my hair i actually got a um silk press on sunday which was two days ago 
and my hair has grown so much guys I never thought I'd be able to and not like force it I love my hair it's great do not do this every month you do this like once a year because of the heat damage that happens so there's gonna be a lot of conditioning to do but I've actually been natural for four years and I plan on continuing that so I am actually not the only child. I don't know why people think I'm an only child. What you trying to say? So I actually have an older brother, an older sister, and of course my younger sister, which you guys have seen on the channel, Uli and Deva. I love you, girl. Fact number seven, I don't like bananas. I've never liked bananas. I think they're weird, slimy, and ugh. Um, but I've noticed I've been getting a lot of cramps in my legs. Actually, it's been years now, but I just try and get my potassium somewhere else because you know, I can't stand bananas. But I actually forced myself to help on this year. It was a lot, but I did it. Um, I don't know if it helped much because I haven't had one since. <laughs> but it's something, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying. Fact number eight, you guys probably know this fact, but if you don't know, if you are new, I was actually first introduced to makeup when I was in matrix. So um, I was really excited. My sister went and bought me some MAC makeup products and she did my makeup and I looked so nice. And I was like, I definitely want to keep these products because she wanted to take them away. And that's how I actually started getting to watching makeup tutorials the following year and actually using the makeup so yeah it's been fun and i've been obsessed ever since and that's where most of my coin goes to fact number nine so as you guys all know our top five love languages it's gifts it's words of affirmation it's touch it's acts of service and the last one was the last one quality time <laughs> you can tell it's probably lower down because i couldn't even remember it but anyway so my top one is actually gifts guys i love receiving gifts and i know sometimes not everyone is able to buy me gifts and to be honest my love language does suffer just a little bit but obviously i do understand because hey finances are not always tip top every month you know each month differs but i noticed that i love buying people gifts and i think it kind of sort of covers that i don't know you, you get me right right and the last fact i'm sure you guys know this my friends know this obviously because i was with them but i have been in boarding school all my high school career and it was fun, it was challenging, it was annoying, wow, well, we went through a lot, um, but I'm so grateful for the experience, I got to form lifelong friendships, and I'm still friends with those girls till today, they're my ride or die, so I'm so grateful for them, you guys actually have seen them on the channel, um, do be saying Anashi and Sapase, but I do also have other friends, which is Mosile and Tidi. Um, they they really support a lot of my channel. So thank you ladies. I appreciate it. And I am just so grateful. I think there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to border school. And actually it's just what you make out of it, honestly. There are days where you're just like, I cannot eat this food. This looks like dog food. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to strangle the teachers that you love with. But you know what? You make it out, and there's a lot that I've learned at boarding school, and I am who I am because of what happened there. So I'm grateful. Testing, testing, one, two, three, and action. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys would like to know some more random facts about me, let me know in the comment section down below and I can definitely do that for you guys. 
Our subscriber for the week goes to Gabelo Ramuduke. Thank you so much for subscribing. You are awesome. You are great. God bless you. If you guys would like to follow in Gabelo's footsteps, it's very easy. Hit the red button. It is free of charge. And once you hit that red button, you become part of this family and you can expect all things of beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, and now and again, some hair reviews. I love you guys so much. May your day be ever flawless as your makeup.